Hi, my name is Mike Thompson. I am an illustrator based in the Washington, D.C. area, and I've been using ZBrush for about three years now. Um, today I just wanted to talk a little bit about how I got introduced to ZBrush and why I decided to incorporate it into my workflow. So I should probably start off by telling you that um, some of the clients that I've worked for are Marvel, DC, uh, Warner Brothers, and various other guys. Uh, I get asked a lot of times to do package design of characters. So you'll see on my screen right now, uh, this is a Chun-Li I, I did for myself, but it was um, for the Street Fighter V uh, release, I decided to paint this piece. Uh, one thing that I really enjoy doing is taking characters that are either cartoons or toys and trying to make them look realistic and dynamic. Today I will be talking about my Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle. I had an idea a while back to have a uh, character who is the last turtle. He's the last guy and I thought uh, you know he should be kind of a grimy uh, gritty kind of guy. Uh, he's, he's, he's got an attitude since he's the last guy and his brothers were killed so I wanted him to be uh, pretty realistic. So he's not, a, he's not a happy guy at all. You can see he's got all of his brother's weapons. I did the sculpt in ZBrush and I will be taking this guy and doing a paint over basically. I was able to use ZBrush to get a sculpt that was giving me everything I needed and get a really nice render with some rim lighting and then uh, by using that, I made my, uh, my paint over, which is this guy here. So I hope you will uh, enjoy the, uh, the videos. Um, as somebody who's not a 3D guy, I'm a 2D person. I find ZBrush uh, really helpful and, and I'm glad to have added it to my workflow. So let's get right into it. 